Is it possible that in the distant future there will be more black holes than stars? So it turns out, according to Stephen Hawking, black holes actually evaporate, but very, very, very slowly. So it's not burn out, it's evaporate. So there's a point where all the stars burn out and they, they leave their corpses. Some of those corpses are black holes. And there will come a time when the black holes outnumber the living stars. They will never outnumber the corpses. But isn't the black hole then like, it's like the Alice in the Brady Bunch with a giant vacuum cleaner. It's like sucking up all of the stars. Alice in the Brady Bunch? Yeah, the uh, housekeeper. Is that what she did? I, I, she would vacuum. The black hole? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I can't <laughs> connect. But is it possible there are already more black holes in this, than stars in, a uni in our universe? No, because we know who, with, who the progenitor is of a black hole. The most massive of stars is a black hole. And in any volume of gas that creates stars, it creates a lot of low mass stars and fewer middle mass stars and very few high mass stars.